IT Major Cognizant posted its first quarter numbers for the calendar year 2014. Uh, last evening, they met street estimates. Uh, dollar revenues recorded a nearly 20% jump. Joining me to discuss those numbers further and talk about how things are looking for the industry is R. Chandrasekharan, the Executive Vice Chairman at uh, Cognizant. Uh, so always good talking to you. Thanks for joining us today. You know, run us through the fact that you have maintained your dollar revenue guidance for calendar year 14. But what is the demand environment looking like both uh, for Cognizant and if you can give us a view for the industry as well? Uh, actually, the demand environment, as I said, you know, for the portfolio of services that we have is pretty robust. And even if there is some softness in one area, you know, it is adequately compensated by the focus that we have in other areas. Uh, you know, that's why I said, while the discretionary spend has been significant in our Q1, it was a slow start on the application outsourcing. What we see is in the second half of the year, when the discretionary spend will continue to happen, we also are going to see a significant increase in the application outsourcing spend because we're going to see a significant ramp up in that space. So that's why you know we feel pretty bullish uh, uh, for uh, the rest of the year in terms of uh, demand outlook. And that's why we have reaffirmed our guidance of at least 16.5% growth for sure. the current year. Sure. So the demand is pretty robust, I would say. All right. So, you know, talk to us about uh, pricing. What are you hearing from clients as far as pricing go? Have they grown or been cut compared with uh, previous years? And I would appreciate an industry view. Pricing has been uh, pretty stable for the last few quarters. And in Q1 also, the, we, uh, we saw a very stable uh, pricing environment. So, nothing to be concerned about. You've seen quite robust growth as far as your financial services go, both Y on Y and Q on Q. Now, that is typically a strong area for you, but what are clients telling you there again? And, you know, what are the size of contracts that they're typically looking at handing out at this point? Do you expect that that will stay for the industry? No, we expect the financial services industry to continue to uh, grow. Uh, the demand is actually coming from, uh, you know, two broad areas. One is to reducing the cost of uh, running IT, but more importantly, the financial services is actually burdened by regulatory compliance work that they need to implement in their system. So that's actually opening up a lot of demand. Plus, most of the financial services uh, clients are also looking at uh, transforming their businesses by leveraging technology. You know, people are talking about mobile banking, you know, digital banking, you know, leveraging analytics to do fraud analytics, mortgage analytics. So a lot of new opportunities are opening in the opening up in the financial services segment. So we expect the demand to be pretty robust in financial services.